Derek Stingley Jr. He will go right straight to questions. To your left here, second row. Hey, Derek. It's been a while since you talked to the media, so I uh, want to just check in on a few things. Um, do all the outside projections of you possibly being a top five, top ten pick, possible, you know, aspirations of maybe Heisman Trophy, this, um, any of that excites you about your junior year at LSU? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool to hear that stuff, but, you know, I, I like to focus on, on the team you know, uh, um, and what we can do as a group. To your left here, second row. Hey, Derek, Jacques Duce, WAFB TV in Baton Rouge. Um, we're hearing a lot of good things about the interaction with the players and the coaches, that the, that the team chemistry is a lot better than it was a year ago. Uh, is that true? What, what can you share about that? Yeah, um, it, it definitely is. On, on the defense side of the ball, uh, when, when Coach Jones walks in the room, it's, um, it, he just gives us energy, you know? Uh, we all, as a group from the front, from the front line to the, to the secondary, we're, we're all hanging out, you know, outside of football. Um, interacting more, and it's showing on the field, and, it, and it's going to show this fall, too. Stay here on the left front row. Hey, Derek, the, the noise about when you first came to LSU was you would spend your first two years on defense, and then your third year, which is now playing both sides of the ball, how much of that is going to come to fruition, and will we see number seven B in wide receiver this year? Well, that, that just depends on, on what Coach O wants, and if, if he needs someone to, to do that. Uh, then we'll talk about it. To your right here, front row. Uh, kind of going off that, um, you know, maybe having a chance to put, you know, play on the other side of the ball or not. Uh, from your perspective, um, what's the quarterback battle been like this year? You said the quarterback battle? The quarterback, yeah. Um, they're both great. Um, uh, I'm proud of them both. They both work hard. They both work real hard. Um, I'm excited to see um, how it all plays out. To your left over here, third row. Thank you, Greg. Derek, Ed Daniels from New Orleans. Um, I know COVID had something to do with it last year, but, and there was a lot of opt-outs. Did you ever consider it? And if not, why did you want to come back this year? What was the, the driving force for you to do that? Did I ever consider opting no. out yes. last year? Oh. No, I, I've always wanted to, to finish out the season strong. Uh, I never thought about leaving. I've always wanted to to finish everything out good, you know. To your right here, second row. Hey, Derek. Uh, Garland Gillen here again from Fox 8. Uh, how pumped are you that you're wearing the, the vaunted number seven jersey for the LSU Tigers? I mean, some monster names in the past, some legends have worn that jersey. How excited are you about wearing that number? I'm very excited. It's, it's something that I've always seen as a kid. Um, you know, the hype around it and what everybody did with the number, uh, that's what I look forward to doing. Um, I, I really want to leave a mark, you know. Go back over here to your left, second row. Derek, can you just talk about being here today and, and doing this? You, 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 you're a humble guy. You don't really do – you haven't done a ton of interviews in the past. What, what kind of made you take that step, step forward today? Um, you know, I – Anything they ask, uh, you know, I do it. I do it with a smile on my face, uh, and I try to do it to the best, the best that I can. Second row to your right. Hey, Derek, Mike Lucas, KXTV and College Station. What's the, uh, what's the status of the rivalry with A&M? Do you guys look at them as a, a real rival, or is it still big brother, little brother kind of deal? Um, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I just I go out there, and I just play, you know. Uh, I don't really feed into who's the rival and who's not. Over here to your left front row again. Hey, Derek, this would be the third defense you've played in. You were under Dave Aranda, then Bo Pelini, now Durante Jones. How does he stick out compared to your first two seasons, and what do you think may be some similarities compared to what he may bring compared to what Dave Aranda taught you guys and coached you up to do? Um, Coach Jones, he brings he – brings a lot of stuff from the NFL, and when whenever he introduces something new to us, he he breaks it down uh, on the NFL level, and he shows he shows how they did it when he was at the Vikings. Um, he shows clips from that, or he shows clips from the Bengals or, and stuff like that. And when we see that, uh, we're like, okay, we can do it. They're they're making it look simple, so so we can go out there and do it too. Uh, 
uh, Coach Pellini and Coach Aranda, uh, they both had their own uh, their own schemes, and but it's you know all defenses are similar in a way, um, and uh, their defenses were great too. So, to your right over here on the second row. Getting to wear that number seven jersey obviously is such an honor. I know that also the number 18 jersey is a huge deal. They even have a whole text kind of group text thing. Do y'all do the same thing for the number seven jersey? Do y'all talk to former guys who wore the jersey? And mm -hmm. if so, what's some of the best advice one of those guys gave you? Yeah, uh, I've, talk, I've talked to a couple of the uh, previous sevens, uh, but with Tyron Matthew, uh, I asked him, how to be the perfect leader. And he, there is no perfect way. Um, it's just however you feel um, it needs to be. Like me, I'm a, I'm a quiet guy. So um, he told me, he was like, you don't always have to go out there and, and scream and yell and be this rah-rah guy. Like when, pe when you speak, like people are gonna listen. And I took that and um, you know, I started noticing whenever I had something to say, people would listen, and I didn't think I had that kind of power at all. Like, uh, I just thought I was just a normal guy, just like everything else. You know? Stay over here on your right, second row. Derek, with all this new NIL stuff, I know you were one of the few guys who immediately capitalized on it. With with you and maybe any of your teammates, what are you, what are you guys looking for when NIL deals pop up? Because I'm sure they're coming, you know, by the boatloads. And why was it important for you to ink one with Louisiana sports bar chain walk-ons? Well, everyone everyone has their own wants and needs. It's just like everything else. Uh, you you're gonna go and you're gonna listen to what benefits you. Um, so, with my process, uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still, um, you know, everybody is. This is all new, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's, gonna, how it's all going to pan out in the end. On your right front row, there. What uh, what are the challenges of bouncing back from a, a 500 season? That's you know something that's not that common at LSU. You said, what's the word? Just kind of what are the challenges of bouncing Challenge. back from a, a season like last year? Um, I, I, don't think of, I don't think of it as challenge. If anything, I would say, um, I would say it's motivation. Uh, and it gives, us, it gives everyone on the team a chip on the shoulder because we want to be uh, one of the top teams like we, like we usually are every year. And that's what we're coming back to do this year. Derek, thank you very much for spending time with us. Yep, thank you.